Hey, I want to thank everybody for reaching out with their suggestions on this issue. As you can see, the motor is already at operating temperature. It started up just fine. The uh, RPMs are hanging around 800. And as I shift through the gears into reverse and drive, notice the RPMs do drop down a little bit as there's a load on the engine. However, it is no longer stalling out. Uh, we repeated this uh, test a few times, had no issues. We took it out on a road test for about 25 minutes, came back with no issues at idle or shifting through the gears and revving the motor up uh, to around 3000 RPMs. There was only a very slight noticeable uh, miss once you got up to around that 3000 mark, which should self-correct after we change out the plugs and wires. Now what we found as the problem with this was actually a severely worn distributor cap and rotor. In the next film clip we'll have some close-ups of what that cap and rotor looked like. Alright, over here on the bench we have the distributor cap and the rotor. Inside you can see how heavily pitted and corroded that rotor is. And on the back side of it, uh, it is actually broken. Uh, that was the result trying to get it off of the shaft. It was on there so tight and that shaft was rusted that it snapped and we were trying to get it off. This little pile of debris is what's left of the contact point and spring inside of the distributor cap. And inside the cap you can see how severely corroded all of the contacts were. Uh, looks like little uh, stalactites coming off of all these contact points. Uh, severely uh, neglected over time and then that center uh, plunger is no longer existent. It just crumbled when we uh, touched it. Uh, these are the parts that we used for the new replacements. AC Delco cap and the uh, replacement rotor. And then uh, what we're going to do next is install a new set of wires and plugs. And unfortunately, the plugs didn't come in time to make this video. But um, again, you can see that this uh, simple maintenance item corrected the stalling out issue. So hopefully, if you're experiencing the same thing, um, changing out your cap and rotor may self-correct the problem of the motor stalling out when shifting it into gear but obviously it was just not making good connections so thanks everybody for watching thank you for your suggestions and we'll catch you on the next one be safe and stay well